Hey guys, Scripture here with another video, and so now we're getting this interesting sort of little tidbit of information uh, regarding this, this new Jedi Order movie that I don't think is ever happening. I, I just don't think it is. But it's interesting because um, fresh off of Stephen Knight walking away from the project, go to his own thing, obviously speculation that he sent them multiple scripts, and every single time he did, they sent them back with so many notes that he had to redo them, and he got sick and tired of it. We've heard these rumors a few times as it pertains to Lucasfilm. I don't know why Kathy just doesn't write it herself. <laughs> if you're, why are you hiring these people and spending money on them if you're just going to do whatever anyway and force them to do what you want them to do anyway? So the Ray movie is going to be the Kathleen Kennedy movie, um, and... Also, it wasn't too long ago that, that Daisy Ridley kind of changed her tune a little bit, and she's been very diplom diplomatic about fans and stuff, and she was kind of lured into it by the interviewee, um, but she did say that she, she can't, you know, that, that some of the people that hate Ray's character, oh, I cannot change the way some men see women, because automatically it's the way that we see women, it can't possibly be that the character was just crappily written, and I guess she can't say that, even if she thinks that, because again, she's trying to make make a bag. On this next movie, and she doesn't really want to go after her boss, I guess, technically. So, there's a lot of uh, stuff that just doesn't even really make much sense when it comes to what's going on with this movie. And, and I mean, they've delayed it now so many times. There's no script whatsoever. So, you would think that the ship has sailed. Um, and I'm shocked that she says this in an interview. So, let's just listen to this real quick here. And then... Uh, and then we'll talk about it. Just to ask, because I have to, no Star Wars updates. We're still just waiting for news, but you're ready. You're waiting. When the script comes, the script comes, essentially. We're waiting for imminent news, I would say. Okay, this is good. There's a date you have in your mind of when you're going to see something, maybe? Uh, I might have already seen something. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, there might be a date of, of when we're, yep, yeah, the next stages. So imminent news. So here's what the imminent news is going to be. We found another writer. <laughs> That's what's going to be. Because there's already they already got rid of the first two guys. Then the second guy walked. The imminent news is going to be another person is hired to write it. Another person is hired to pen the script that Kathleen Kennedy wants them to. That's what this is. This is just Kathleen Kennedy basically writing the script for you and then you have your name on it i wouldn't do that anyway i think that's what this is i don't think this is news at all this is just whatever i don't know why they're trying to hype this up um i don't know why they don't just move on because it's not going to happen uh, i don't really get it but okay we like that progress we like that slow but mm -hmm. steady as long as you guys get it right take your time i'm patient exactly we're all good we're just out here <laughs> right moving <laughs> I, I I can't imagine what it's like for you because if, when I tweet or say something about Star Wars, I get scared when people for a reaction. Like I can say anything and people make something of it. And you're Daisy Ridley. You're Ray. <laughs> it's funny because I've never felt like, oh my god, I've said too much. But sometimes I say something that honestly I feel like is completely innocent. And then there's a. I mean, this is a funny thing. This actually isn't Star Wars related, but it's so funny the internet thing. My mom texted me a few weeks ago. So you couldn't think of anything to say that you say that's innocent that people freak out about. So then you move on to this other story. <laughs> it's a story about her mom thinking she's in the Goonies because somebody put it on Facebook. She doesn't know of an example of some, to something she tweeted about Star Wars. So anyways, I'm starting to lose some, I'm starting to lose my love of Daisy. I, I actually uh, appreciated her and the way she's handled things, um, particularly the the way that she avoided um, the talking points of fans bad, it's all the fans' fault. And um, like I said earlier in the video, she's now sort of backtracked a bit on that. Oh, I don't know how certain men, you know, it's all, it's the misogyny. It can't possibly be this crappy character. Now this, it's just getting corny. I, I think she's starting to fade and and starting to get turn into some of the same people. I mean, when you're around people in Hollywood enough, you're going to become one of them. I mean, it's very rare that someone doesn't. Most people do. And it just seems like she's kind of going down that road. And she goes, oh, is there something you haven't told me? 
I said, what are you talking about? And she sent a screenshot of a Facebook. Fa- who still posts? On- I don't know anyone that still posts on Facebook. A Facebook post talking about the Goonies too. And that I was in it. And I was like, mom, do you not think I'll tell you? And she goes, yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. I, I, I did think that you would. I was like, I'd tell you. And the Goonies too? I would obviously tell you more than ever. Um, oh, now but- I want your mom's... Facebook it, page to manifest something. Yeah. If your mom, and also she's not even on Facebook. Someone had sent her a screenshot. I was like, so even it, my mom, my own mom believes the internet. So, you know, we all believe that, what we do. That being said, you are starring in Goonies too. We can confirm that right now. With Steven Spielberg directing. Amazing. Amazing. That had absolutely nothing to do with the question he asked or the statement that like he asked her, he was asking her about her posting stuff on Star Wars. And then she's like, if I post any little mundane thing about Star Wars, anything at all, people, she alluded to people misconstruing it, but then she couldn't think of an example. I think, I think people that are in Star Wars, I think they, some of them like think people care more about it than they really do. <laughs> I, I honestly do. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I hope she's not, you know, completely turning to the dark side, but I think she might be. It's it sure seems that way. But I mean, this movie's this movie's never happening. There's no imminent news. This this is nonsense. Again, if there is, it's going to be oh, we have another writer now, a third one, yay! Like, there's nothing exciting about that at all. And I don't know why people. And I don't know. I just don't think this movie's getting made. What do you guys think? I, I think I think it's over. I think uh, I think most of the things that they planned on doing, they're not. I don't think people are enjoying working at this company right now. Um, I think people have had enough. Whether it's Patty Jenkins or Stephen Knight or whoever, I think Kathleen Kennedy has destroyed the brand completely. It's not. It's no longer serious. It's no longer hype. It's just nothingness. No one cares. And they used it to push their own worldview, social agenda view, instead of just telling good stories, which is never a smart move. I mean, really. I mean, it, it, I guess it can be in a certain context if you're writing your own sort of movie and, and that's what it is. But when you take an existing IP that has timeless themes and stuff in it, and then you try and turn it into your own little political activist thing, it's not going to work. It's just going to make people mad, even people that agree with you. On your politics, you're gonna be like, dude, I don't want this right now. I want an escape from this. This is all I ever see all day. I want to get out of there. I want to watch a Star Wars movie. So, it's a huge mistake. And there, and, and and Kathleen Kennedy's all about it, all about the self inserts. No one wants to see self insert Ray again. Ray would be a massive flop. Like I've said before, I think the Mandalorian and Grogu will make some money because it's the Mandalorian, and there's still a a small glimmer of of people that care about that, um, despite season three. But I don't think the Ray movie's ever happening, and if it did, it would be a solo level flop, hundred percent solo level flop. So, anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, as usual, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, always help the channel. Feel free to check anything else on my channel. Have yourselves a really good day.